Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the spring 2017 commencement of the University of Northern Iowa. Please rise for the graduating students. <laughs>
representatives of the faculty of the University of Northern Iowa. of the academic departments. Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you welcome to the spring commencement exercises of the University of Northern Iowa, which will now be in order. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Jeffrey Brick, professor of voice from the School of Music. The colors will be presented by the University of Northern Iowa ROTC Honor Guard.
please be seated. At this time, At this time, I have the honor of introducing to you the members of the Platform Party. All those introduced should please remain standing until the introductions have been completed. And I ask that applause be withheld until all have been introduced. Ms. Rachel Johnson, member of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa. Dr. Mark Nook, President. Dr. James Wolpart, Provost and Executive Vice President. Dr. Michael Hager, Senior Vice President for Finance and Operations. Dr. Jan Hanish, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Nancy Cobb, Associate Provost for Faculty. Dr. Kavita Donwada, Associate Provost for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Graduate College. Dr. Tim Kidd, Chair of the University Faculty and Professor of Physics. Dr. Gail Pohl, Chair of the Graduate Faculty and Professor of Communication Studies. Mr. Christopher Cox, Dean and Professor of Library Services. Ms. Roberta Yoder, UNI Alumni Association Board of Directors, Ms. Jessica Kramer, Speech Language Pathology Major, Ms. Erica Kuhn, Theater Major, and Mr. Hunter Flesh, President, Northern Iowa Student Government. <laughs> While all of us are proud and excited to see our graduates cross the stage tonight and receive their diplomas, we respectfully ask that you refrain from using air horns and other celebratory instruments during the ceremony. As your graduate crosses the stage, please quickly conclude your applause so that the audience can hear the name of the next candidate. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome the president of the University of Northern Iowa, Dr. Mark Nook. On behalf of the University of Northern Iowa, we extend our welcome to the 2017 Spring Commencement Ceremony. Graduates, today is a culmination of your many years of hard work and the start of your next ventures. Family and friends, your participation today honors these graduates and the University of Northern Iowa by your attendance. Your support while your student has been at UNI has been integral to their success. This university has a rich and marvelous history. Central to that history is a faculty whose commitment to teaching and learning, scholarship and creative activity, service and community engagement, and to students, to student success in particular, has made this university a distinguished place. Would the representatives of the faculty please stand and receive our greetings and thanks. Graduates, congratulations. You have earned the privilege of being here. We trust that co these commencement exercises will be a meaningful and memorable culmination of your studies at the University of Northern Iowa. Today, you will see that some of our candidates are wearing red, white, and blue honor cords. The honor cords indicate that these students have served, are serving, or will be serving our country following graduation in the military. This recognition is well deserved and we are deeply grateful for their service and bravery which affords us our freedoms. Would the students wearing red, white, and blue honor cords please rise so that we may recognize and honor you and your service. This time, I'd like to aw ask all veterans in our audience today to please rise so that we can thank and honor you for your service as well. All veterans, please rise. Thank you.
We now proceed to the recognition and award of honors. Dr. James Wolpart, Executive Vice President and Provost of the University, will recognize those candidates honored for their superior record in scholarship. Dr. Wolpart. Ladies and gentlemen, you may have noticed that some of our candidates today are wearing bronze medallions. This medallion indicates these students are graduating with summa cum laude honors, which means that they have achieved an academic level which places them in the top 3% of their graduating class. This achievement demonstrates both a superior level of ability and a high dedication to scholarship. The University of Northern Iowa is very proud to recognize these candidates at this time. Would the summa cum laude candidates please rise and face the audience so we may recognize and honor you. At these exercises, it has become our pleasant custom to ask a member of the graduating class to deliver an address. This year, we will have a member of the undergraduate and graduate classes deliver an address to their fellow students. Dr. John Fritsch, Dean of the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences, will introduce this year's speaker for the undergraduate class. Mr. President. The speaker for the senior class today is Erica Kuhn. Erica is a native of the Cedar Valley and a graduate of Waterloo West. During her time at UNI, Erica has majored in theater with an emphasis in performance. She has been on the dean's list each semester. She was the artistic director for UNISTA. She was the student coordinator for Iowa Thespians. And in the past year alone, she has had major, role, major roles in Twelfth Night Glass Menagerie, and in the recent production of Into the Woods, where she was the stepmother. It is fair to say, I believe, that Erica is one of the most well-recognized faces on our campus. This summer, Erica will be working as an acting apprentice at the St. Croix Festival Theater. Congratulations, Erica. Thank you, Dean Fritch, for your kind introduction. Uh, President Nook, members of the platform party, faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates, hello. Thank you for being here today as we celebrate this spectacular accomplishment. My name is Erica Kuhn, and I was a theater major here at the University of Northern Iowa, which means if you recognized me but didn't know why, you probably had to see a play I was in to write a paper about it. <laughs> I'm so honored to speak today, and I was also a little surprised. In searching for the words to give all of you, I began to wonder why I've been asked to speak at all. And I came to the conclusion that someone, somewhere, had deemed me successful. Uh, and that surprised me. I want to explain, so let's start with a story. Briefly before the beginning of the 2013 academic school year, I embarked on the adolescent venture of getting my wisdom teeth out. This is the same event that prompted my first experience with uh, prescription painkillers. My strung out brain was struggling to prepare for the auditions that were required of me as both a theater performance emphasis and a scholarship recipient. That's right, someone had taken a chance and thrown free money at me that I then had to be worthy of. I was rocking not only a raging infection, but very high expectations. <laughs> Jumped to the night of auditions and I'm singing the song, Maybe This Time, from the musical Cabaret. Suddenly, my Vicodin mind lost everything. I was high. I was failing, but I wasn't a quitter. My quick fix was to just repeat the one phrase I could remember, which in this case was the title of the song. That's right, I sang the words, maybe this time, over and over and over again until I could hit the last note on maybe this time, I'll win. I left to cry to my mom for three hours and ask her how we were going to be able to give everyone their money back. Eventually, I got the opportunity to act in my first shows, which gave me the chance to work with amazing, talented peers. 
but being surrounded by such passionate artists confronted me with a decision. Do I continue my education as I am, or do I go all in? I'll be honest and I'll tell you that I had mastered the art of getting by, but here I was. I had made the decision to study the only thing I had ever always loved, and that demanded a respect for me that altered the course of my life. I started to say yes to things, things that scared me, especially, and eventually I fell into the job as a student coordinator for the Iowa Thespian Festival. That's the event that brings over a thousand high school students to campus in blue string backpacks for a weekend of theater and clogging the dining centers. So sorry about that. <laughs> but again, I was confused. Why me? I mean, surely I wasn't capable enough to handle something like this. I didn't know how to use most of the features in Microsoft Office, let alone wrangle a thousand teenagers. But I listened to the people who had faith in me, and a year later, my team and I were strapped up with walkie-talkies and golf carts making it happen. Over time, Erica Kuhn of Fall 2013 Auditions Infamy kept saying yes. I got cast. I studied, not just to take a test, but to actually understand. I dove into opportunities like a junkie, oftentimes overwhelming myself but learning new limits. I would go on to brave Shakespeare, teaching, directing, musicals, and today speaking to a room full of people not as a character but as myself. I'm telling you all of this to say that I am always surprising myself, and I would wish nothing but the same for all of you. I am the girl who fell flat on her face, who was terrified to go beyond the bare minimum, but I am also the girl who got back up and who dared to see what could happen if I took the risk to actually try. That's all my success has been, daring myself to go all in and having the courage to keep saying, maybe this time. We're all so incredibly capable if we just have the audacity to believe it. Thank you to my family and friends whose love guides me always. Thank you to my mentors who have taught me to live and breathe in the present. And thank you, you and I, for introducing me to all of these wonderful people who have made me rise to the occasion of their company. Class of 2017, I wish you trust in yourself always and bravery to lead a life that is, if nothing else, interesting and full of surprises. Thank you. Dr. Kavita Donwada, Dean of the Graduate College and Associate Provost, will now introduce this year's speakers, speaker for the graduate class. Good evening. It is my honor to introduce our graduate student speaker for today's commencement exercise, Ms. Jessica Kramer. Jessica is the daughter of Brian and Sherry Kramer. They're with us today, along with a bunch of her family, uh, including her sister Olivia, her brother Caleb, grandparents Lois and Bill, and a host of other family friends that it would take too long to name. But I, the support of her family is with her. So Jessica grew up in Creston, Iowa, a small community in southwest Iowa. She came to UNI as an undergraduate student and received her BA in Communication Sciences and Disorders in only three years. She plans well. While an undergrad, she did many things on campus, including participating in marching band all three years. Now in 2015, she joined the MA in Speech Language Pathology program. Now Jessica was actually accepted across many universities, uh, larger, uh, larger programs in Kansas, Nebraska, but she decided to stay at UNI because of the faculty and the community that she found in her department and at UNI. Now Jessica has a passion for service. She says that she discovered that this passion grew as she took her coursework and participated in a number of activities throughout her varied experiences at UNI. Now she's had an opportunity to do research. She's worked at the Roy Evelyn Speech and Hearing Clinic and she serves as a student mentor to many of the students in the program. She gives a lot of time to the SALT Company, a service ministry for college students. Now, during the course of her program, she's had two internships, one at the Green Hills AEA back in her hometown of Creston, 
And she's also had the opportunity to work at the prestigious Gillette Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. Now, with a, such a stellar background, you know that she already has a job lined up. She will begin her position as a speech language therapist at Great Prairie AEA in Oskaloosa, Iowa in August. Now, she is very, very excited to work there as it serves families who are in great need. So congratulations, Jessica, and on all of her many accomplishments. And we wish you the best as you take the next step in your journey. So please join me in welcoming Jessica. I'm going to fix my mic here a second. Okay. Oh, maybe. We'll find out. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dehawanda. I said that right? For the lovely introduction. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you on the behalf of the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences and the Graduate College, and thank you for your attendance tonight. Um, and I also like to war welcome and give my greetings to the platform party, our esteemed faculty, our loving families and friends, and most importantly, you graduating class of 2017. When I was asked to speak at today's ceremonies a few weeks ago, I experienced an adrenaline coursing excitement quickly followed by a sharp sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. I would liken this sudden rush of emotions to the feelings I had on syllabus day at the start of my graduate classes. I was so excited about coming back, being reunited with friends, and anticipating a slow first week back. Well, there was a big exam company. <laughs> and so, just as in preparation for that test, I drank a lot of coffee, I ate some chocolate, and did my research for this speech. I hope I can earn a passing grade. When it comes to times such as these, nostalgia, reminiscing over our journey through UNI, might seem bittersweet, joyous, or even relieving. But quite frankly, it's unavoidable. As we advance through our collegiate memory montages, isn't it crazy to think that our journey here is over as so almost as soon as it had begun? Our memories of freshman naivety and antics soon transition to long, red-eyed nights of writing papers, cramming for final examinations, and frantically finalizing our research for our thesis. Quiet moments, sitting on the Adirondack chairs on Lawther Lawn, contrast to the thunderous roar of the crowd and the wall of sound from the Panther marching band on game day. I could describe my journey here at UNI in many ways, but one overarching theme that resonates the strongest with me is not purely the education that I received in speech-language pathology. UNI has not only taught me how to be a passionate therapist, but rather, she has taught me to have endless compassion for my community, this country, and our world. You see, when I first entered at this university, I thought I had a strong sense of compassion considering my career path, which educates, supports, and advocates for those impacted by communication disorders. But now, looking back, I can see I was only about to learn the biggest lessons of my life. Back then, my perspective only focused on myself, what I could gain from the university, what my professors could teach me, what my life would look like at the end of my time here. But then, that perspective was radically changed because what I learned is that my life isn't my own. My professor, Dr. Lindsay Leacox, challenged us one hot summer day in our language, literacy, and poverty class to investigate the world through someone else's lenses. We spent hours engaged in enlightening class discussions on regional, national, and global poverty, and we are tasked to take into perspective the attributes of social class structure, what the diverse needs of each social class may be, and how we could best serve and encounter them as speech pathologists. What could we learn from an alternative viewpoint? What could we see that we hadn't seen before? These discussions arose, an inquisitive drive within me to view these other lenses. So, in response to that challenge for my professor, with the class fresh on my mind, I traveled to do mission work in Guatemala. And there, I finally understood what Dr. Leacox was talking about. 
I saw it in my own eyes. I put on the glasses, rims fitted with new lenses, which opened my blinded eyes to see amidst the hazy skies, acrid smell of burning trash, and the disparity of generational poverty. I saw, I saw a self-sacrificing, humble, and compassionate community. Despite their impoverished environment, the people I was so blessed to interact with showed me the greatest kindness that I never deserved. This epiphany starkly contrasted to my previously held lenses and his, has hitherto totally transformed my education here at UNI. So to you, class of 2017, I ask you to consider what UNI has taught you here. How has your journey through UNI shaped your perspective of family, friends, and strangers? In times such as these, where our world desperately cries out for acts of compassion and peace, our moment has come to step out and take perspective of those around us. It is evidence that you and I, our soon-to-be alma mater, has taught and prepared us well to answer this cry. Armed with the tools from our education and experiences outside of the classroom, we as a class have fought alongside the university to end hunger, confront discrimination, dance against illnesses, secure personal freedoms, and much more. We've impacted our local, national, and global communities through service and education in myriads of ways. Let's not these perspective widening lenses stay within our collegiate montages, but rather may these lessons be fostered and developed within our sphere of influence. Because even if it is small, any act of compassion rarely yields a fruitless harvest. So in closing, I would like to congratulate you, class of 2017. You did it! You got it! Thank you for everyone here and your supportive presence that we have. I hope our memories of you and I resonate with the compassionate community that you, she has offered us and instills in us an understanding of how we may move forward and establish a compassionate presence in this world. Congratulations and best of luck to you, class of 2017. Thank you. Erica and Jessica, thank you. Thank you for reminding us of the importance of compassion and the need for us to go all in on our life's goals. Thanks very much. We are honored today to have a member of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, with us. Speaking today on behalf of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, is Regent Rachel Johnson. Regent Johnson is a former Sioux City North High School student and was appointed to the Board of Regents on May 1, 2015. Rachel is a junior at the University of Northern Iowa and is pursuing a degree in elementary and middle level education. After completing her bachelor's degree, she hopes to further her education and passion for higher education through graduate school. She is a third generation Iowan and the middle of three children. In April of 2017, Rachel was honored with the Truman Scholarship, one of the nation's most prestigious scholarships awarded annually by the Harry S. Truman Foundation in support of its mission to select and support the next generation of public service leaders. Rachel also served as part of Northern Iowa Student Government, which represents more than 12,000 UNI students. As a senator for the College of Education, she represented and advocated for students. Rachel also represented the UNI College of Education as a student ambassador. In addition, she serves as a commissioner on the Iowa Commission on Volunteer Service and was vice president of the Iowa Association of Student Councils from 2011 to 2014. Please join me in welcoming Regent Rachel Johnson. Good evening. On behalf of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, I congratulate you on the academic success you have achieved. We are so very proud of your accomplishments. Today, you will receive a degree from one of the finest universities, which has provided you with a strong foundation for your future plans. We wish you continued success and offer our congratulations to the class of 2017. Thank you.
We now proceed to the awarding of degrees. Dr. Kavita Donwada, Dean of the Graduate College, will now present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Industrial Technology. Those candidates will please rise. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the university, I have the honor to present you these candidates who have successfully fulfilled the requirements of their respective degrees. I am pleased to commend them to you for the awarding of their degree. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and by them delegated to me, I hereby grant to each of you, as appropriate and qualified, the degree of Doctorate of Industrial Technology with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. I now pronounce you graduates of the University of Northern Iowa. The graduates will now be individually recognized as they are ceremoniously hooded. We ask all audience members to applaud and recognize graduates once they are hooded. Bizico. Patricia C. Hilton. Ranjana Joshi. Albana Yulianova Yordanova. Please congratulate all of our new doctors. Congratulations. <laughs> Dean Donwada will now present the candidates for the master's degrees from the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences. Those candidates will please rise. Mr. President. On behalf of the faculty of the Graduate College and the University, I have the honor to present to you these candidates who have successfully fulfilled their requirements 
for their respective degrees. I am pleased to commend them to you for the awarding of those degrees. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and by them delegated to me, I hereby grant to each of you as appropriate and qualified the degree Master of Arts, Masters of Music, Master of Science, and Professional Science Master with all the rights and privileges pertaining unto their there unto. I now pronounce you graduates of the University of Northern Iowa. The graduates will now be individually recognized. Mr. Christopher Cox will read the names of the graduates. Graduates will be greeted by their deans and then their department heads and faculty members as they leave the stage. Ashley Marie Cardamone. Aaron Lee Ennis. John A. Gensko. Benjamin Aaron Hobart. Shauna Marie McLeod. Jessica Sue Ott. Morgan L. Singleton. Molly Evans Safranco. Angela Marie White. Ryan David Lockard. Jared Scott Parmiter. Sean Robbins. Meredith Grace Carnahan. Deanna Lee Chedister. Kristen Joe Conway. Jessica Lynn Kramer. Caitlin Brooke Friday. Rebecca Lene Frundle. Madison Ann Gates. Lindsay Marie Hendrickson. Rachel Francis Hager. Tessa Rose Johnson. Erin Elizabeth Knight. Jenna Victoria Lyons. Elizabeth Ann Matheny. Stacy Nicole Oak. Brittany Ann Oxley. Alexandra Marie Reichs. Sarah Louise Rowland. Nikki Amandel Shaney. Claire Elizabeth Shipley. Sydney Speldy. Riley Wagner. Lauren Suzanne Reed. Jordan Harris. Kristen Ruth Swears. Nicole Catherine Wakeman. Samantha Jean Walzak. Megan Louise Wright. Ryan Francis Courtney. Carly Victoria Hansen. Brooke Long. Megan Janine Ryan. Austin Michael Swantz. Kenneth Marion Funk. Casey Ann Brimmer. Kelly Ray Larson. Jessany Latrice Maldonado. Alia Afzal. Brandy Lee Ananze. 
Rachel Eileen Bing. Fatime Borgiavati. Carmen Delgado Harrington. Samantha Maley Coles. Claire Whitney Mueller. Karen Sue Potter. Nicole Lynn Scregg. Brooke K. Marie Becker. Heather Ann Everding. Mingwan Gao. Shujuan Zhang. Jason Daniel Landa. Mark Allen Rannenberg. Hannah Ray Howland. Elizabeth Emilierisley. Jennifer Regina Lugard. Yijo Lu. Michaela Marie McDonald. Lucas Harry Peterson. Blair Allen Rimmers. Haley Lynn Steele. Tori Bertelson. Rachel Anderson Storley. Samuel Strantz. Kiwa Zhang. Hua Jing Zhang. Kristen Ann Burchard. Michelle Marie Seddon. Christine Marie Dubois Etridger. Rihan Farouk Hader. Joseph Aaron Henry. Sumit Joshi. Saeed Jair Soleimani. Cesar Ramirez. The Provost of the University, Dr. James Wolpart, will now present the candidates for the bachelor's degrees from their respective units. The audience will find the disciplines and courses of study for each college listed in your commencement program. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the University of Northern Iowa, I have the honor to present to you these candidates who have successfully fulfilled the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Science. I am pleased to commend them to you for the awarding of those degrees. Thank you. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and by them delegated to me, I hereby grant each of you 
as appropriate and as qualified the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Fine Arts, the Bachelor of Music, and the Bachelor of Science, with all the rights and pri privileges pertaining thereto. I now pronounce you graduates of the University of Northern Iowa. You may, at this time, move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations. Please be seated. We will now individually recognize the graduates. Mr. Christopher Cox will read the names of the graduates. Names will be read in alphabetical order within each department. Graduates will be greeted by their deans, associate deans, department heads, and faculty members as they leave the stage. From the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences, the Department of Art, Maggie Jean Barnes, Cassandra K. Beadle, Mark J. Beebe, Jr., Taylor Nicole Bennett, Neshwan Khaled Bensad, Stephanie Renee Berry, Kristen K. Borglum, Joseph Daniel Burgess, Allison K. Cahill, Amber May Claus, Lexi Ann DeShong, Bailey Nielsen Higgins, Derek John Holt, Catherine Arlene Jamgard. Marvea Jane Johnson. Mary Patricia Lawler. Timothy Hawkeye Jorgensen. Allison Rollinger. Christian Michael Rivera. Leah Catherine Reek. Daryl Anthony Robinson. Alexander Michael Rogers. Alicia Jerry Schlichty. Micah James Skinner. Arden Betson. Kyler Dwayne Smith. Samantha Marie Stewart. Brianna Michelle Walker. Ivy Rose Werner. From the Department of Biology, Amin Abdullah Alradi, Laura L. Anderson, Bailey Ann Bacon, Breonna Bailey, Mary Rose Brandt, Madison Kathleen Brandt, Megan Christine Brewer, Kylie Nicole Burke. Rachel Rebecca Carney. Logan Michael Dabney. Alexandra Marie D. 
Dana. Robert Charles DeCamp. Amra Dolich. Juana Durrani. Austin Kenneth Dyer. Brittany Ann Evans. Shane Michael Ferrari. Benjamin Swartz and Druber Fick. Jill Christine Georgian. Stephen Josias Gomez. Sally Rose Gray. Catherine Louise Gregg. Cameron Morgan Haynes. Rachel Lynn Henning. Veronica Lynn Herman. Jillian Samoan Hill. Amanda Marie Hintz. Brett Matthew Howard. Dalila Huzadich. Megan Elizabeth Johnson. Sarah Jane Judicus. Bradley William Kirkove. Kellen David Kessler. Madison Ann Kissling. Edward William Donald Klein. Dongwook Kwok. John Arnold Langer. Jose Ramon Lopez. Alexandra Marie Moss. Destiny Danielle McGee. Gavin Riley McGimpney. Bryce Charles McElravey. Mary Corinne Myers. Rachel Lynn Oswald. Rachel Jeanette Pauley. Zachary Michael Rye. Joshua Richard Samick. Aaron Rebecca Sawatsky. Bailey Marie Shaw. Jenna Mae Starbeck. Mitchell Ryan Steffensmeyer. Allison Rose Stein. Andrew William Strube. Kelsey Daniel Fuller. Brant McNulty. Hussein Kurdich. Sarah Elizabeth Tappy. Natalie Anna Toms. Mitchell John Vandersloot. Preston Vorthman. Thomas Patrick Walseth. Alyssa Marie Williams. From the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, Wyatt William Anderson. <laughs> Madeline Jean Deegan. Emily Nicole Dutton. Jonathan Henry Niederhoff. Wade Robert Pingle. Bailey Jordan Wetherill. Allison Renee Wold. From the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, Jessica Bailey Ackerson. Elizabeth Ann Adcox. Emily Renee Anker. Andrew Ray Arthur. Valeria Maria Pia Ayala Garces. Lauren Ann West Bangford. Kevin Wood Wood Bernard. Kaylee Marie Buxted. Meredith Victoria Kammerer. 
Sarah Kathleen Crimmins. Delaney May Hoffman. Shayna Elizabeth Kelly. Alexandra Elizabeth Kirby. Matthew Eugene Klein. Alexandria Nicole Climes. Alyssa Danielle Klinkfus. <laughs> Jacqueline Marie Knustrum. Allison Nicole Kraus. Morgan Elizabeth Kershaw. Alexis K. Crittenbrink. Kiana Nicole Neal. Haley Nicole Main. H Hallie Nicole Ogan. Marcy Pazza. Carly Ann Payton. Kyle Wesley Polzine. Amber Ann Ramthan. Janelle Ellen Rezebeck. Jennifer Lynn Roberts. Madison Nicole Ruder. Abigail Ruthann Schupinitz. Mackenzie Ann Sesterstrin. Carly Elizabeth Tuller. Anna Elizabeth Van Roykel. Jillian Ray Volker. Abby Rose Watson. Tasia Ray Welter. Alyssa K. White. From the Department of Communication Studies, Hisham Saud Afra Raj. Kelsey Christine Anderson. Kinsey Jeanan Anderson. Lydia Brooke Anderson. Astrid Liliana Aria Santos. Kayliana Jordan Atwater. Abdullah Ali Babaydin. Olivia Kathleen Balhagen. Julia Elaine Barrett. Siljan Lee Bartels. Meredith Juliana Bowman. Brianne Michelle Baylor. Casey James Becker. Joshua John Berendez. Kelsey Marie Bergman. Heidi Mae Brandt. Rachel Marie Broghammer. Corey John Bukite. Makiba Scott. Paige Renee Butts. Corey Michael Clausen. Bailey Nicole Comagis. Camille Joyce Dela Cruz. Kinsey Marie Dewar. Bryce Edward Douglas. Catherine C. Duffy. Christopher Allen Doomer. Elliot Ely Eggleston. Matthew and William Fedro. Kate Elizabeth Furneau. Dakota Jason Fish. Mallory Elizabeth Feeney. Mackenzie Lee Flaherty. Krista K. Fretheim. Olivia Catherine Frey. Olivia Ann Galkowski. Kelsey Lynn Glaza. Madison Paige Grabeau. Olivia Rachel Guns. Zachary Daniel Hagen. Michelle Ann Hall. Drew Robert Hayes. 
Tobias Keith Henderson. Ryan Paul Herring. Casey Marie Hoekstra. Owen Thomas Hoke. Lexi Shannon Hudacek. Mary Jane Huffman. Emily May Hummel. Taylor Renee Jacobson. Brady Stephen Jennings. Linnea Jean Kangas. Mary Claire Kapsch. Karen Jane Kiesel. Emily Sue Kingland. Isaac Knivesland. Benjamin Howard Confrist. Kyle D. Konigsmark. Caitlin Danielle Kozak. Ashley Michelle Kraus. Caitlin Elizabeth Cook. Wiley Catherine Page Massey. Alyssa Elizabeth Meeker. Nicholas John Mitchell. Cammie Celeste Weaver. J.D. David Morales. Spencer Richard Moser. John David Murphy. Nicholas Wesley Parker. Lauren Kimberly Peterman. Jordan Garrett Peterson. Paige Nicole Malaby Plaskett. Kylie Joe Powell. Emily Ann Prohaska. Zach Willard Ratchford. Tori Elizabeth Rayner. Callie Lane Sauer. Caitlin Elizabeth Schneider. Anthony Michael Schultes. Victoria Marie Satani. Samuel Joseph Spohr. Abby Grace Snichter. Blake Tyler Stallman. Morgan Ray Stewart. Leslie Catherine Stone. Abigail Emily Takas. Michaela Ann Terry Boyenga. Rachel Marie Thrun. Kristen Nicole Wagan Connect. Nicholas James Weltner. Jacqueline Julia Wessels. Emma Jo Widener. Emma Tates. Ryan McDermott. Dylan Mum. From the Department of Computer Science, Blake Leroy Eggleston. Joseph Eugene Flockhart. Chad Michael Gilmer. Jacob Alexander Jewell. Alexander Elmer Curley. Samuel Taylor Kleiss. Dalton David Lee. Jacob Dean Peterman. Colin Mark Schneewise. Joshua George Schriever. Caleb Luce. Grant Gordon Sebring. Justin Connor Smits. Jonathan Ryan Van Gent. Duke Min Vu. From the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Emily Louise Engel. Taylor Ray Garten. Matt Lee McIntosh. Bobby Joe Minard. Riley Heather Mullins. Natalie Gallegos Nunez. Tara Perez. From the Department of Languages and Literatures, Florence Juan Ardone. Kaylin Louise Bettle. Angela Page Blake. Hannah Claire Carlson. Miranda Pamelin Eide. Nicholas Allen Fisher. 
Whitney Alexandra Fisher. Michaela Jo Foland. Michaela Ellen Ann Geringer. Alicia Nicole Holland. Shelby K. Hannon. Miranda K. Hinkle. Mariah K. Hesse. Kayla Christine Hughes. Lauren Elizabeth Hunstead. Abby Elizabeth Ingvall. Clark Miller Jackley. Rachel Lynn Kaufman. Michaela Marie Knight. Sydney Kuntz. Brittany Nicole McDowell. Zachary David McGill. Kellen Marie Nillis. Shayla Rose O'Brien. Ashley Renee Phelan. Alexander Floyd Prinson. Shelby K. Quaid. Christy Lynn Reff. Lindsay Elizabeth Roots. Brooke Ellen Safely. Chambray Annette Burke. Wade Thomas Shive. Randy Ann Smith. Samantha Jane Speaker. Aliyah Jane Stanbro. Sari K. Storizens Hansen. Amy Annalise Straw. Trey Allen Teeley. Emily Marie Toole. Kaylin Nicole Yupa. Claire Rose Vanderweel. Samuel Ho Weinman. Clay Meek Whistler. Rachel Elizabeth White. Alexis K. Yost. Amanda Hushak. From the Department of Mathematics, Heather Maxine Bovito. Sarah Nicole Booman. Samuel Thomas Edwards. Sarah Ann Feist. Grace Elizabeth Frecking. Ian Robert Green. Nicole Ann Hegewald. Emily Andrea Jacobs. Jason Stephen K. Megan Elizabeth King. Jamie Suzanne Kramer. Toby Kirk McGirt. Haley Jo Monternock. Kayla Ray Minkle. Mackenzie Elizabeth Mitchell. Sarah Ann Morganson. Morgan Ray Nominson. Colton Thomas Payne. Chloe Blair Rosedale. Betzalo Tamini Tarune. Alec James Sorensen. Brandon Scott Stewart. Jessica Lynn Teske. Amanda M. Worsfold. Harmony Van Nevely. Julie Nicole Kirkpatrick. From the School of Music, Elizabeth Suzanne Anderson. Samuel David Bergen. Emily Karis Picknies. Samuel Divine Bills. Michael Daniel Bockelt. 
Joshua David Burke. Joshua Ryan Carlo. Matthew E. Dutton. Ariana Elizabeth Edvinson. Molly Jean Evans. Christopher Paul Fenton. Kyle Giese. Jonathan Mark Haverdink. Taylor Houston Hicks. Austin John Jacobs. Elise Marie Jacobson. Heather Marie Kelly. Taylor Brianne Caberdahl. Paul Stephen Lichty. Kathleen Ann Marston. Brent Michael Mead. Nicole Joyce Norman. Danica Marie Page. Lydia May Rhyme. Michaela Dawson. Benjamin Firehelm. Nicole Fu. Alexander Marie Salisbury. Nicholas Ryan Schumacher. Emma Elizabeth Swenson. Austin Stanley Wright. From the Department of Philosophy and World Religions, Natalie Lynn Kaufman. Zachary Anthony Martin. Neely Nicole Scharf. Bailey Ann St. Clair. Charles Jameson Whitting. From the Department of Physics, Lucas Paul Beving. Keith James Doerr. Matthew Ryan Fleming. Colton Jacob Lestine. Michael Ray Martin. Enrique Julian Tovar. Colton Dean Warnke. Jacob Dwayne Weber. From the Department of Science and Science Education, Zachariah John Lilquist. Caitlin Page Schmidt. Corey Bartholomew Valglake. From the Department of Technology, Eric William Adams. Abdul Hadi Ali Alajmi. Hussein Adabrosol Ahabib. Rita Ali Alrebe. Kasim Hassan Al Shif. Ahmed Saeed Alakil. Rita Ali Alburi. Abdullah Ali Aldawood. Ahmed Musa Allahi Ibrahim. Murtada Saeed Al Mahasna. Ali Lufti Al Mustafa. Yasser Aid Al Matiri. Ali Hassan Al Nasser. Khalid Mohammed Al Katani. Mohammed Salah Al Sanan. Lu Yao Jung. Ali Jaman Al Zaranhi. Ryan Joseph Arend. Andrew James Arndt. Austin Craig Atwood. Tucker R.J. Barrett. Alex John Becker. Quinton T. Becker. Ryan Paul Beery. Salvadine Bajic. Colin Anthony Black. Christopher J. Boland. Shonda Marie Borkart. Nicholas William Borglum. Kyle Michael Brahman. Logan Stamps Brodeski. Trevor Michael Brown. Nathaniel C. Bryant. 
Devonair Sierra Camacho. Bronson Randall Chevalier. Lucas Allen Deerfield. John William Donovan. Christopher Lauren Entner. Andrew Donald Evans. Adam John Foreman. Cortland Joseph Garrett. Hannah Marie Gibbs. Elizabeth Ann Gotch. Aaron Elizabeth Green. Jacob John Grover. Kristen Lynn Hahn. Andrew Lewis Kestkenkoff. Dalton Dean Cardell. Ennis Kudazovic. Vincent Joseph LaRue. Bartholomew James Ludwig. Seth Herman Miney. Connor Bradley Mim. Hugh Arthur Miles. Ty Dwayne Miller. Courtney Alexis Monk. Caitlin Emily Nekalaw. St. Alexander Ruger. Dominica Francesca Soldajeno. Tyler John Scott. Brandon Daniel Sheeter. Kiana Joshe Sims. Dakota Dean Snyder. Shiloh Cameron Snyder. Riley J. Stencil. Kyle Craig Steely. Jake Lawrence Turjahan. Zachary Michael Story. Brianne Mary Trice. Zachary Jordan Van Pelt. Bo Matthew Wallace. Brad Michael Walski. Michael Lucas Weber. Brock Michael Winters. Nathaniel James Martz. Christian Ronald Woods. In the Department of Theater, Christopher Anderson. Samantha Jesse Jean Coda. Michaela E. Davis. Leah Decker. Michael Patrick Evans. Madison Elizabeth Catherine Fairbanks. Kendra Lee Gleam. Elizabeth Marie Hicks. Erica Suzanne Kuhn. Hunter Carlton Quint. Ronnie Lee Rushishka. Carter Joseph Smith. And Alexandra Nicole Stickles. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome Dr. Tim Kidd, professor and chair of the faculty who teaches in the Department of Physics.
Uh, thank you. On behalf of the faculty, I would like to offer my congratulations to all of today's graduates. We are proud of your accomplishments. The degree you're receiving is from an institution that values the quality of your education, is invested in your experience as a student and alumni, and dedicated to providing quality faculty Yes, with diverse backgrounds to teach the students. Your diploma is a symbol of your academic success at the University of Northern Iowa. Display it with pride. We wish you continued success and best wishes for the future. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Hunter Flesh, President of Northern Iowa Student Government. Thank you, Dr. Kidd. I'm honored for the opportunity to speak with you on one of the most celebratory days of your time at the University of Northern Iowa. It has been my privilege to serve as the president of Northern Iowa Student Government for the past nine months and represent all of you. When you leave the McLeod Center today, I encourage all of you to live your life fully and make you and I proud. The faculty and staff, your parents and friends have helped you attain the skills necessary to be successful in your next journey. Your involvement at UNI will benefit you in your first job, graduate school, or volunteer opportunities. Take what you have learned and be the difference. Enjoy today and congratulations on your achievements. Go Panthers! I would like to introduce Ms. Roberta Yoder, Vice Chair of the UNI Alumni Association Board of Directors. Thank you, Hunter. Greetings, distinguished guests, faculty, students, families, and friends. On behalf of the more than 115,000 UNI alumni, I extend congratulations to you, members of the class of 2017. You have earned a degree from the University of Northern Iowa, and you should be proud of this momentous accomplishment. Your time here as a student was brief compared to what commences today. Your lifelong experience as an alum of this great institution. I encourage you to become an engaged and involved Panther. No matter how far away your career takes you, always know that the Alumni Association is your constant connection to UNI. Consider getting involved in an alumni club, attending a social event, or coming back to Cedar Falls for homecoming. I also encourage you to stay in contact with the faculty and staff here at UNI. As a UNI graduate, you and your active participation in the life of the university will help you continue to develop personally enhance the value of your degree, and help advance UNI to new heights. You are joining a family of more than 115,000 fellow graduates. At this time, I ask all UNI alumni in the audience to please stand and applaud the newest members of the UNI alumni family. Again, congratulations to all of you, our newest UNI graduates. I'd like to ask all of our graduates to please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, one more congratulatory round of applause for our graduates. Congratulations, Panthers. You may be seated. Congrat 
congratulations, and thank you. I now ask that the graduates give a round of applause to the faculty and the dedicated work and support to help you reach this milestone. Finally, many of these graduates would not have achieved their academic success without the moral and financial support of many in this audience. In a very real sense, much of this honor of commencement belongs to you, the parents, spouses, relatives, and friends of our graduates. At this time, we would like to recognize all of you. Will the parents, spouses, relatives, and friends please stand so that our graduates may thank you. Thank you. In honor of today's graduates, I'd ask all to please stand and join in the singing of the University of Northern Iowa alma mater, led by our UNI senior, Shamra Burke, soprano. The music for all to sing can be found in the back of the commencement program. Thank you, Samra. Please be seated for our final announcements. Please direct your attention to the top of the McLeod Center. At this time, we would like to thank conductor and professor Dr. Rebecca Burkhart and our students in the Northern Iowa Symphony Orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to attend the commencement reception 
outside the McLeod Center on the plaza immediately following this ceremony. We ask that all graduates and audience members remain in place until after the President's party has exited the McLeod Center. At that time, all graduates and guests should exit up the stairs only. These commencement exercises being now completed, please rise for the recessional of the President's party. The spring commencement exercises of 2017 for the University of Northern Iowa are now adjourned. Thank you.